This is Tri Tip, one of the most flavorful and economic pieces of meat you can buy in the market today. But there is a problem. How do I cook this beauty? We all heard about Tri Tip, and this is something that I ate before. This is one of the most unique and easiest steaks to cook. But when it was time for me to cook it, it became a nightmare. Tri Tip is very popular and very well known on the West Coast. I mean, it is so West Coast that it used to be called the California Cut. But like many other things, this is a very economic piece of meat that is full of flavor and far less expensive than any quality full flavor steak such as ribeye or New York strips. To put it simply, this steak is just cut pieces of the triangular Tri Tip roast, which is why it is also known as a triangle steak or the Santa Maria steak since that town made the tri-tip rose famous in its annual barbecue festivals. This boneless meat is about one inch thick. It's lean and tender with a beautiful amount of marble. The problem that I got here is that I wanted to cook it in the best possible way and as soon as I type tri-tip in Google, every recipe was suggesting a different way of doing it. I had no idea this steak was so popular, and it got to the point that I was not sure of what method to use. Of course, I'm making these babies in the grill, but there is a bunch of other recommendations that can be overwhelming when you try to make a decision. From smoking, to reverse sear, to regular sear, everybody has a different opinion about the best way to cook it. So I decided to do it both ways and get over with it. Do you know that my favorite way of cooking steaks is reverse sear? But from all the info I got about using the regular method for searing the steaks, it looks so nice and easy that I couldn't leave it out. And of course, my favorite way of cooking these steaks will be in the grill, but don't let that limit you. These steaks can be cooked in the oven and finished in the pan with great results too. There are so many reasons of why I prefer to grill my steaks, but I would love to hear about you. Let me know down there in the comments why you prefer the grill before the oven or the pan. Something else to take into consideration when you buy tri-tip is that sometimes they come with some silver skin. This is not going to be a big deal on tri-tip, but if you can remove it, go ahead and do it. That will make your meat more tender and your presentation amazing. So today we're gonna to cook these two steaks each on a different way and decide at the end which is gonna be the best. Let's go. This one here is the one that I'm gonna be cooking in the regular way. That means I'm gonna be sealing this steak first and then let it heat up in an indirect heat. Preparation is very simple. I just roasted a few garlics, put them on top of the steak, add salt and pepper, and let it rest for about 30 minutes. With our grill ready, we will set the steak straight on the fire and sear on each side for about two minutes. The idea behind this method is to create a nice crust around the steak and bring those colors up as much as you like. The advantage of using this method is that you can sear the steak this way without risking too much the internal temperature of the meat and the final turn it will have at the end. When you're cooking tri tip, you have to be really careful when you cut it as the grain runs in two different ways. So the best idea will always be to cut it right in the middle and then cut each of the sections separately against the grain. All right, Miss Ninja, I got something new for you here that you never try. What is it? You never try it. So, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> this is dry tip. Do you ever try it? No. You never tried tip? <laughs> I never tried tip. <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Ninja. Okay. I didn't plan it. <laughs> I um, haven't tried to. I don't know if I can put this in YouTube. Oh my god. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, we have a tri tip here, but we're gonna be cooking another one. Okay. So just, you know, try it, taste it, hold it, and then at the end you tell me what's up. Because we're using two different, completely different methods here to see which is better, okay? Okay, let's do So that's the whole idea. Let me take the little pine trees out of here. Pine trees. And let's give it a good try. Yeah, to the tip. 
Right on me, see ya. I'm going to give you the tip of the tip. Yeah, here's the tip. <laughs> no, this is, this is big. Let me just cut a little piece for me. All right, Miss Angel, let's try it. As you can see, the colors are amazing. Beautiful. Let's go for it. Let's go. Mm. Wow, Miss Ninja. Mm. Wow, Miss Ninja, that tip is awesome. <laughs> yes, it is. Hello, man. Wow. The you feel something? Ah, I know you feel something different. I was going to ask you right now. Love the garlic. Mm. Nice garlic flavor. It didn't burn. No, no, no. It's at just all. that garlic flavor in there, guys. Mm -hmm. And it tastes amazing. Really tender. Really juicy. Look at the juices. And really, really nice, unique flavor on the tri tip. Uh, this is uh, one side of the tip. You want to try the other side? Let's do it. Let's go for it, Miss Ninja. Mmm. Amazing. Yeah. I mean, I love the texture. I <laughs> really want to give it a delicious already, but I can't. No. Don't we, do have, it. we have the other one there, okay? Got it. So, amazing. Yeah, get this inside. Don't mm. eat it. I All will. Right. And let's go for the other one. Let's go. Let's go. After trying that awesome steak, let me tell you a little bit about the concept of reverse here. The idea of Rebear Series is aimed at moist retention and even cooking. My experience with sous vide cooking allowed me to be more open-minded about reverse Series, which can produce similar results without the extra equipment. We are going to season this steak exactly the same way we did with the other one, roast garlic, salt and pepper. Reverse Searing involves cooking at low heat in the cool zone of the grill. When the steak reaches an intended temperature 10 degrees below your desired temperature, move your steak to the hot zone on the grill and sear each side for about one minute. The only thing you have to be concerned about when using the reverse sear method is that your charcoal needs to be as hot as possible before you place your meat over it. That will guarantee some deep colors and a beautiful finish. As we did before, and in this case a very important step, we will let the meat rest for about 10 minutes before cutting into it. Again, remember when you're dealing with tri-tip, you're going to have different grains going in different ways, so it's better to always cut in the middle. Miss Ninja, we have the other steak here, another tri-tip. Okay. But this is cooking a completely different way, okay? I'm full from the other one already. What do you mean you're full? We ate the whole thing. You ate the whole thing? Me and Georgie. Mr. Jo <laughs> come on. Yes. All right. <laughs> so All right, Miss Ninja, let's mm -hmm. give it a quick try because otherwise this video is going to take forever. So let's go for let's it. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Quick, quick, quick. Let's see how you like the tip. Let's go. <laughs> Man. They're really good. Wow. I got a tough decision. What, which is your the, the, the winner? Flavor? Mm -hmm. Flavor wise? Mm -hmm. The first one. The first one of flavor. Mm, the garlic, amazing. The garlic got just, fire I mean, right there. This is just a typical beef flavor. The other was like enhanced beef flavor. I don't know. I think I like this one a lot better, guys. Look at all the juices. Look, it's really tender. Mm. It's really good. Flavor for me is exactly the same as the other one, but I feel that this one is a little more juicy inside. That's the deal here. I think this think is so? juicier. I think, oh man, I think this one is delicious, brother. And sisters. This one is the winner, guys. <laughs> we have a lot more juices in there. I think it's tender. Uh, maybe flavor-wise, you like the other one better. I think they are both similar, so I don't, I don't have any argument in there. But it's really good. Yes, it so, is. Guys, if we made you hungry, please hit us with the like. Lots and lots of likes. Subscribe to the channel, share with your friends and family, and don't forget to share these videos on the social network because it helps us a lot. Yes, it does. That's all for today, but remember that I love you. Mwah, we love you. Thanks for watching and see you at the beach. I mean, see you on the next one. <laughs> Leave your comments down there, guys. See you next one. Bye.